Hi, I'm Matt. I'm going to demonstrate the transparent failover features of bonded internet. This bond has four connections, three 3 megabit DSL lines and a 10 megabit cable internet line. One DSL line is dedicated to failover and won't be used until all the other connections have gone down. I'll demonstrate while downloading a large file on the command line. With each connection active, we can download at about 1.6 megabytes a second. I'll disable the first DSL connection. This simulates unexpectedly losing a connection from the bond. Notice how the download has slowed from about 1.6 to 1.3 megabytes a second, but it hasn't been interrupted. I'll do the same with the second DSL connection. Now we're running only through the cable connection because the third DSL connection is for failover and only becomes active when everything else is down. Finally, I'll disable the cable connection. Notice how traffic immediately moves from E4, where the cable modem is connected, to the PPP321 connection where the failover DSL modem is connected. The download speed is much lower than before, but the transfer still hasn't been interrupted. Fully transparent failover is what allows bonded internet to offer reliability comparable to lease lines, but at a fraction of the cost. It's also an advantage over traditional load balancers, where a failed line interrupts all the connections using that line. Now I'll re-enable the connections. Watch how the download speed increases right away with each connection I enable. First I'll start the cable line. See how the traffic has moved off the PPP321 interface and the download speed has increased to over a megabyte a second. When I re-enable the DSL connections, the download speed will quickly resume its original speed. Thanks for watching this demonstration of bonded internet.